Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are setting out to conquer an area that we tried to conquer last year in the Jeep, but uh, got turned around by bad weather. So um, here we are, early spring. It's a cool five degrees out, uh, starting to rain. We've got a uh, buddy in a Tacoma and another buddy in another power wagon. I believe his is a 2020 power wagon. So. Uh, should be interesting to uh, see what we can get into here. So stay tuned. All right, we made it to our trailhead. I'm gonna go ahead and air down. I think I'm gonna air down to about, I'm thinking probably 20. We'll try 20 and we'll see what it's like, but uh, the rain is really starting to come down now. So should be pretty interesting out there. So stay tuned. Holy crap guys. So I get uh, halfway done airing down and this is what we get. We knew it was coming, but I didn't think it was gonna come this quick. So I'm gonna get the caps on this side and I'll continue airing down on the other side so yes yeah, should be good up there we're heading up this way uh, all up in there we're gonna head up there so I do see some snow patches over here to the right so it'll be interesting to see what we get into all right since I lost my uh, intro footage as we entered into the trail we're gonna dub over this so <laughs> yeah we were uh, planning on trying to get up to a uh, snowmobile cabin and then loop back through another way but um, as you'll see, we ran into some snow much sooner than we actually thought. So, yeah, sit back and enjoy the ride, guys. Oh, snow already. Is that even a hole? Or are you kidding? You'll get stuck in two-wheel drive. I was going to go two-wheel, but... Me too. Someone got stuck already. Uh, another buddy in the power wagon. It's pretty deep snow. Yeah, maybe don't go in the four of them. Yeah. I got, I got um, brain selection on mine, so I put it on. Your deep snow is right now. So you can like sit it around. Yeah, it's super cool. I forget what it's called. Okay. All right, guys. First victim of the day. Stuck Dodge. He buried it. Broke traction. Went through. 
We're gonna give him a yank. We'll get him out and Girl, take five seconds. Shut up, Chris. Dad, I had to be winched out. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just we'll use the uh, kinetic strap and we'll get him out. Take us five seconds. We're gonna be tugging him out. Um, yeah, as you saw, as the thing higher could, he is pretty stuck, but we're gonna be able to tug him out. Hello. As we've seen, Kinetic strapped him out, took all of about five seconds. So uh, he's aired down to 20 PSI now, and uh, he's gonna let her eat and see if we can get out of here. All right, this is where I had the brilliant idea that we should try to make it up to the snowmobile doghouse. And uh, as you can see, nobody else wanted to lead, so I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? And well, you'll see kind of what I was up against here. started out good. At this point I had uh, zero concerns. It wasn't up for about another half a kilometer that, that thing started to get a little bit hairy. To give you a little bit of a perspective, keep in mind that is a 35 inch tire almost completely buried in snow. I really wish the GoPro picked up just how much of a grade we were trying to climb here. On camera it almost looks like it's flat which is kind of funny but it was definitely far from flat. So right about here is where I started regretting my decision of trying to get up to the cabin there. Uh, as you can see, it's pulling me down to the right. There's probably about three feet of snow on that one side and uh, it was just sucking me in. So I decided to back out as you see right there and uh, 
engage front and rear lockers and just give her a few bumps and see if I could get up out of it. And it seemed to work out okay. You can see uh, from that snowpack on the left front tire just how deep that actually is there. It's it's no joke and of course the camera doesn't really do the angle justice but as you can tell we were struggling with it. That was a fair amount, wasn't too bad but who's not up for a challenge. radiator I decided it's probably a good idea to stop and uh, just walk it a little ways and see just how far up our uh, turnaround spot was. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that it was just around the bend there so there wasn't too much more to trek up. All right guys so now we've got our buddy in the other power wagon coming through if we can focus there. So he's gonna try to make his way up and our buddy in the Toyota is down. Our, our game plan is to get up there and turn around rather than backing all the way down this I don't even know how many kilometers it was it was several kilometers but looks like uh, Wayne's doing great here so yeah wish us luck She is nasty and slippery. Both Wayne and myself are on 35s, but uh, he's trucking up it just swell. So I'm gonna run out of the way here so I don't get run over. Holy crap, guys. We made it up with an 10 till. Surprised our beast could do this. Like, I wasn't expecting to do this. Like, it's really deep. It doesn't look as deep as it looks right now, but it's insane. I'm just walk over and show you. Like we went through 
all of these rots all the way from where the other power wagon is. Look how deep it is. We got stuck in the ditch. Crawled right out of it. Like, holy crap, guys. Power wagons are really good. Like, I never been in a truck so good like this. Like, what kind of truck is this? Holy crap, guys. We went up this whole thing. Like, at least three, four, five feet deep. Look at that. So, we're done. The uh, truck is pretty muddy. Not that much, but not as much as mud as we expected. Still pretty muddy, though. We're just filling up the tires right now, so. Yeah. All right, guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, so basically what happened at the end, I didn't shoot an outro. My power steering pump started to uh, not want to pump. And, um, well, I was frustrated and decided, you know what, let's just fill up the tires and get out of here and I'll mess with it when we get home. And, uh, well, that's what we're doing. So in a video coming up, you'll see we will be replacing a power steering pump on the power wagon. But uh, if you guys like what you've seen, please like comment and subscribe and um appreciate all you guys and we'll see you on the next one